We finally have evidence on who LeBron's biological father might be. Almost every NBA fan knows LeBron never knew or met his dad, and he lived with his mom, Gloria, who had him when she was just 16 years old. That hasn't stopped everyone from trying to figure out this mystery man is. In fact, there's been multiple people linked to be the father of LeBron. One of them was former senior SEC legal advisor Brian Stelbo, who claimed he hooked up with LeBron's mom in 1984 at a club, and it is the reason why LeBron named his second son Bryce. He even filed a $4 million lawsuit against LeBron's family because he never agreed to a paternity test. And when LeBron finally agreed, the results were negative. Another name people claimed was his father was Hall of Famer Nate Thurman. The two have the same build. Let's not forget the hairline. Thurman was born and raised in the same neighborhood as LeBron, and a lot of people found it odd why one of the first great players to come out of Cleveland never got to meet LeBron. Though for this theory to be true, it would mean Thurman had to hook up with LeBron's mom at least when he was in his 40s. Which leaves us with only one man. The one that makes the most sense to be LeBron's father. His name is Roland Bivens. Aside from having a striking resemblance in their face and body type, or basically LeBron with an afro, Bivens was also born and raised in Akron, Ohio. Led his team to a state championship, went to the same school as LeBron's mom, and were dating by the time she got pregnant. Some even claim Bivens tried to reconnect with LeBron as a teen in 2002, but failed because he got arrested. See, when Bivens left James and did his own thing, he ran into a lot of trouble. He was wanted for multiple charges of arson and theft, and some even claim he might change his name to Anthony McLeckland to try and escape jail time, which is a possible theory since there is another rumor going around that LeBron has a half-brother, who is only three years younger than him named Aaron McLeckland Gamble, and reportedly also got left behind by McLeckland. Of course, all these are just theories, but you can't ignore how everything seems strangely add up. Whether his father is a lawyer, NBA legend, or criminal, one thing we can agree is that James has done pretty well for himself on and off the court.